camera options. No camera is plugged in. Let's plug in the camera. And look at that, it instantly, I mean, by the time I got up here, it installed the camera. Some really big news today from Microsoft. A lot of you may remember that about two years ago, Microsoft shut down Mixer like six months after they paid Ninja a ton of money to come there. And they had promised that they were gonna have some integration with Twitch that was going to be better. So that update came out today and I have installed it on my Xbox One X and I'm gonna show you every step that you have to take to set up your Twitch account on the Xbox One X to start live streaming Twitch directly from your Xbox console without having to have a computer or anything else. So click like, click subscribe, and indulge in your life and indulge clothing for the merch. And now let's set up our Twitch account on the Xbox One X. All right, so here's how you set up the new streaming. Just hit your guide button and then go all the way over to capture and share. Then on capture and share, you can go right down here to live streaming, set up a stream, where you're then told to enter the below code at twitch.tv slash activate or scan the QR code below with your phone. Now I do have both of these blurred out, but you'll have a code there where you'll then go on your computer to twitch.tv slash activate. So this is the website, twitch.tv slash activate. I am signed in to my account. And so now I'm gonna enter in the code and click activate. Click my activate button. And now it tells me that the Xbox network wants to access my account. So I'm gonna click authorize here. And then now you see here under settings and connections in your Twitch account that my Twitch account is connected to Twitch for Xbox One settings and connections. So now if we return to the living room, you see now we have a start live stream. Now also here is capture settings. These settings are for when you're capturing uh, like just a normal clip. So now I'm going to uh, go back and let's launch Fortnite. And now that we've launched Fortnite, we should be able to open up our guide, go right over here to live streaming, start your stream. Then it comes here and gives me a couple of options. I can turn my microphone on and off. I can plug in a webcam. Very, very nice. Didn't know that was possible. I guess we'll have to give that a try. Stream name, that's really old, like from before I had this system. So uh, let's rename that. So for now, we're just gonna call it Fortnite Session. More audio and other settings. So uh, here's the resolution. I do have an Xbox One X, the higher end model from before the Series X came out. So uh, I'm actually gonna bump this up. I at least want 1080p and uh, that should do it for those settings. So uh, I need to plug in a webcam and try that. But first let's click go live now. And look at that, you can see how long I'm streaming. That I don't have a webcam, I don't have a mic, I don't have any viewers. Uh, let me go back, go back. And it's still going. You can see live streaming Fortnite. And so uh, let's jump out and play. And there we go. There's my video. It's only a few seconds behind too. Very nice. All right, it's working. And so it is definitely working. Claim my battle pass there, battle stars. So to stop the live stream, you go to the same spot go down to manage your stream, and then you can stop, you can pause. So uh, we're gonna stop it real quick, and then I'm gonna go grab a webcam, plug it into the front USB here, and uh, let's see what happens. So this is a Logitech webcam C920. But let's set this like right there, and take our USB cable and run it to the front of our Xbox One. Now, I should be able to go into live stream so after the first live stream, I'm having a bit of an issue getting another one going. So I'm completely rebooting my Xbox console. I never even got to set up the webcam yet. So uh, we're gonna try it after a restart. The Xbox is booted back up and I'm relaunching Fortnite. Once I get back into the window waiting on the game, I'll try to plug the webcam back in and start a session with the webcam. All right, we're back in. We're gonna start some matchmaking. Go over to our guide, start your stream. There we go. All right, camera options. No camera is plugged in. Let's plug in the camera. 
And look at that, it instantly, I mean, by the time I got up here, it installed the camera. Move camera position to bottom right, so we can pick where we want the camera. That's pretty cool. Look at that, it's got the feed, nice. All right, we're gonna go with that, that works. So uh, we're gonna go back and Fortnite session go live now. And there we go, we are streaming. So let's go back to here. And there it is at the bottom. Now you can't see yourself in the picture, but I should be able to see that in the room. You can hear it back there. Let's go see what it sees. And so there we go. There's uh, my stream going with me, not the living room, of course, but very nice. It's definitely working. All right. Well, I think that will do it for the Twitch TV setup on the Xbox One. Now this update came out, hold on, let me, you know, um, let's just go home. <laughs> you can hear it. <laughs> Not much of a lag. Because I went to my home screen, this is what my live stream switched to. Very cool. So this just came out for the Xbox One as well as the Xbox Series S and X. Just to clarify here real quick, from what I've read, this is available on all Xbox One consoles. So from the original Xbox One all the way to the new Xbox Series S and X. At least that's what they're saying. Sadly, I don't see a build number anywhere, but it says as of February 23rd, all the Xbox consoles should have the Twitch integration right there in the guide. So that's how you'd set it up. Hopefully this helped you out and you've liked the video. If you can, click that like button, click subscribe, and indulge in your life at Indulge Clothing for the merch. Now see you in the next video, or maybe on the next live stream on Twitch. Deuces.